Have you ever seen the movie Green Book? What if I say you that I played the game that gave me the same vibe as that movie? And if Oscar would put a nominee for Game Stories, the one that we are going to talk about today would probably in a nominee for like, let's say, um, an indie movie game, whatever. I don't know, I'm not the kind of the developer for this kind of events, but I'm the guy who tells you about the great games. And believe me, the one that I have for you today is really a unique piece of jam. It's called Road 96, and if you haven't heard about it yet, oh god guys, believe me, after this review, you might really wanna put your hands on the game. This game, by my standards, could be a game of the year, to be honest. I immediately got cooked up to this story, its choices, its randomness of meeting characters that had an impact on the choices I could make. And if I didn't meet these characters in a specific order, I didn't have the choices available. And I really love it. Certainly, The Road 96 isn't a game for masses. It's a bit of a niche game, let's say. But it does mean it cannot please those who'd love to try something new and special. If you like compelling and competing stories, backstories, and slightly darting adventures, if you love the fact that every choice you made has weight, unfolding events and its title could give, you should really try it. It is certainly an experience different from many others. It's a really nice revelation to me. So let's get a little bit deep into the story and the kind of game. The place where the game takes its story is a super lovely place. I could imagine myself staying there for hours. But that's the point of the Road 96. It's a narrative game of scenes and encounters and conversations. But you're always moving. Petra in 1996 is a home to an altitarian regime, pursued to the edge of the fiery addiction. It's in a kind of a place where a discourse as the coral and where the teens are most likely want to be flee for the border, whereas there's a wall obviously, that sticks around to see what the next government offers. You play as a series of those teens, one after another, making their way to the wall and encountering people along the way as they hitch king walk the steel cars, save up for the cabs. Each new team takes you back to the new start of the Groblokfi, a long way from the crossing one more. But the clock keeps ticking, eventually you get your last team to the border and it's election day, and since it's a narrative game like Life is Strange, filled up with the choice large and small, the outcome is based on the story you didn't always know you were putting together in those scenes and encounters and conversations, the particular recipe turn you were following. It's a roguelite and it's in parts also is the best and never really feels like one. It wants you to focus on its each individual journey of about an hour length as you close the gap between you and the wall. You manage your funds and your energy matter because you'll need to both if you want to have a chance of crossing successfully. But you also move on through the procedure sniff to agents with the recurring cast of characters. You might get a lift from John. I really love John. John's a trucker and the beer of a man, who must have some self-awareness because of his rig called Grizzly. Eight ball on the gear shift, fingers missing on his right hand, a giant who, in a wingnet, had to fold himself in the passenger seat for a compact. A bose, funny and rather mowing. The gentleness of someone who's grown to a huge scale. He's in love with the voice on the CB radio and his secrets rattling around his truck along with an empty cans of energy drinks he chugs. A brand called Life. You meet John again and again as you deep and rise through the game as a cosmic or sewing needle. Playing different people but all the same motivation and objectives that border. The first time I met John he almost got me killed. The second when we played football. The third we had a little map reading. Most of the game plays out of a multiple choice conversation as you move the camera around, interact with the environment and chat to whoever has been suffered at the time. Be sharp and you might grab an energy bar on some extra cash. Then there is a mini game that they're enjoyable hockey to break the things up. But mainly you ask questions and listen to the answers as more of the story becomes apparent to you, as you fortune it to the particular foes. Not everyone is as great as John, that would be hardly fair. There are goofballs, a cop, another runaway or two that are something much more troubling. You meet everyone again and again and in a different body and there are the different moments of the same story. There is an interesting unresolved tension between what you know and these moments and what the person are currently playing as knows. 
In this aspect, while Road 96 is not a time loop game, it kind of feels like one. It is fun and constantly interesting. Characterization is based on dazzling, it's broad but tends to combine one quality into another one, each of people you meet. It's an interesting question that only reveals itself over time. A cruel character that is made vulnerable by guilt. It works a brisky, superficial approach to the depths. In truth, I loved Road 96 from the start and I loved it in the end. My ending... it probably isn't yours. I love it to the first of the bounty of the possibilities. And by the end, I love it for the first interrational web. Guys, the story in this game is amazing. The amount of the emotions you're gonna get is amazing. If you get deep into it, and if you kind of start feeling all the characters you're getting in on all the way, it becomes super interesting to you. I would even prefer this or some Netflix movie overnight. Finishing on this note, I don't wanna spoil much. This is kind of a driving also game where you kind of drive, but still. The game gives amazing feelings, and there is not much games during the summertime that could give you the same emotions that this one. So please, if you have time, check this out, this is the game that you would really enjoy. I bet you would enjoy. Anyway, finishing on this note guys, once again thank you for watching, thank you for staying on our channel. Please leave a comment, say what you like about the game, did you try it, which games you want us to review and everything, everything, everything you want to want. Maybe you want to wish us the happy birthday, maybe you want to wish us the new our subscriber account because we just hit another milestone. It means a lot to us. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.